Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 2 on CNC profile milling video tutorial using EdgeCam. Here this is problem 1 that is demo on use of CAM software that is EdgeCam for generation of GNDM codes for a milling profile. And as I have said just now said this is session 2. In session 1 this problem is more or less completed even the simulation has already been done. Now what we do here is the other aspects of simulation the final aspects of simulation generation of GNDM codes and all that will be done in this session 2. See here, this is the profile and all that. What you know already, this is the profile. And the profile means this is a cutter is of diameter 4 that will move only along the profile. Okay, move only along the profile. Okay, one time if it goes, it is minus 2. The, the depth of cut for each pass is minus 2. Five times it does so that the 10 mm depth of cut is obtained. I have assumed feed rate to be 50 mm per minute and speed of cutter to be 1500 and you have to generate the tool path, verify the tool path and perform 2D and 3D dynamic simulation and you have to generate GNDM codes and all that. See here, before that you should know the basic concepts of 3-axis CNC and all that. See here, this is a table. This, uh, this work piece, what I have told you know, this work piece 120 by 120 into 20, that work piece, that billet, okay, that metallic billet, 120 uh, into 120, 120 length, 120 breadth, 20 is the thickness that is fixed here using these clamps and all that here. Okay, once it is clear and you can uh, do the profile centrally on that uh, using the procedures I tell you. Okay, but once it is fixed here, the table can move this way or can move this way. Moving this way is plus x and moving this way is minus x you can assume. Okay, and the table can move this way also. Moving this way is plus y, going away is minus y. In the same way, the table uh, coming this other day, sorry, this spindle, no, this is z, okay, z coming down or it can go up also. The tool is fixed here and this does the work, that profiling or pocketing or whatever it is, the tool which is fixed here, that will do the work, okay. That means here the profile is done by this end milling cutter, what exactly is fixed here, that will be done, that is coming down. Well, that is if it is just touching the workplace it is z we call it as z, z0 okay and if it is going down it will be z minus one okay anyway these things i tell you okay now what you should know is i'll repeat the that is the word that is the table moving this way or this way is plus x or mi minus x and the table moving this way or this way is minus y and the, the spindle whatever is this is fixed uh, direction okay it can move up or down and that can be plus z or minus z. Okay. That is coming down is always minus z. Okay. Once it touches the workpiece. Okay. It, it will be a z will be 0. Once it becomes minus. It starts cutting the workpiece. Okay. I will just repeat. This is plus x or minus x. Table moving this way. And table moving this way is plus y or minus y. And this can be plus z or minus z. Coming down is it becomes minus z. After it touches the workpiece. Once it touches the workpiece. Z will be 0. If it goes if it still further down, it will be z will be negative, and in, in that case, it will be cutting the workpiece. Okay. Now, once this is done, this is the profile and all that. What you know. Now, what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, that is edge cam. Now, in the edge cam, I'll show you how exactly this has already been done. As you know, this is 120 by 120. This is 20, and the profiling has already been done, and you have to show the simulation. Okay. Once you simulate machining, you click on simulate machining. Click on simulate machining. Once you click on the simulate machining, you just say, uh, press on the play button. Once you press on the play button, you see here what exactly it does. Now you see here, this is cutting. It is cutting. Now it is a depth of cut of minus 2. Minus 2. I'll repeat the uh, simulation. You see, once a, once a simulation is done, what you can do is, if you do this, it will go back and I can again select this. If I do this, again the simulation is done. You just see, see carefully, this is simulation again I'm doing. This is minus two. Keeping the right button, you can tilt it 
and you can uh, view the simulation better. This is minus 2, then minus 4. In that way, 5 times it does. See here, once it is doing this way, automatically moving from one point to the another point and all that, no, it will be directly writing the G and M codes. These things, I will tell you later on. That means, these things, you should know that the generation of G and M codes is the movement of the tool. Okay. Now it is moving again and you can see the C here, the depth of cut is increasing and it uh, totally, it moves around the profile five times so that the depth of cut is 10 mm. Every cut, see here, once it has done here, it has again gone up by, you see here, it is gone up, see here, it has gone up by 5 mm. Okay, after cutting, it has gone up by 5 mm. Now you see here, now once you do this, the another important simulation, what you should know here is, you see a simulation mode. Okay, you, you put the simulation mode here. Once you put the simulation mode, simulation speed, let us say 100, I'll put. Okay, 100 or 50, uh, you can increase it also. Let us say 100 is a thing. I'll just say okay. Okay, once I'll do this, okay, you see here, I'll go to the top, you see here, beautifully you see, now I'll go for tracking feature also, if you go to the tracking feature also, okay, now you see here, this is going around this uh, profile, no, going around the profile, this you see here, this is minus 4, now it is minus 6, that means 6 mm is already the depth of cut, okay, now as you see here, you keep observing here, it is x98 it is showing here because it is going here 4 mm is the diameter that is plus 2 mm that's why it is 100 mm can you understand that see here carefully follow it is minus 8 mm you see here when you go here it is x90 here y98 can you see y98 when it comes here it is x2 okay y also 2 and if you are if you are here, it is clearly it is x is now you see here x is two here because once it is x is two means it is moving this is moving along this and the profile is here and the center of the workpiece is here. This is at a distance of two mm. That's what it says. Now what I do here is you see here. Now it is going inside. I can make this tool go outside this profile also. What I'll do here is, I'll do, I'll go, I'll click on this. I'll, I'll be, now that the profile is this way. Okay. The profile, I'll make it outside. Okay. Now start end. You here, you give outside. If you give outside and you just say, okay. Now you see here, it has come to the outside. Now, if you go for simulation mode, 100, uh, let us say, simulation speed, if you say, okay, see here, it has come to the outside. Now you see here, outside it is doing. You can control either it can go inside or outside. The profile has to be done. You, whatever you want, you have all the controls, you manage the controls. Now, as you see here, it is going outside. And if you are tracking the tracking also, you can comfortably see here. Now you see here, 102. Can you understand? 100 is this, plus 2 is the center of the workpiece diameter is, sorry, tool uh, diameter is 4, 4 mm. That is why when it is moving here, it will be 102. You see here, keep following here. It will be 102 here. Y will be 102. When we, when, once it is here, X will be 102. You can follow this, 102. This X, when it comes here, it will be 102. Keep following. Okay, see here, X will be moving. Once it comes here, X will be 102. You see here, 102. 
okay and the depth of cut is red is minus theta that means already four times it has been done already okay and now it is 10 last time it does the simulation okay it does the simulation final time z minus 10 afterwards it uh, the tool will raise to a distance of 5 mm and stops okay now here top if i uh, take to the front now you will know here after cutting and all that it has gone up by 5 mm and it has stopped okay this is another very important simulation what you should know see here this also this is the simulation what is important from the understanding point of view see here all x and y z and what exactly is variation from end to end point those things are written in g and m codes these things you will know while when uh, when you uh, see my tutorials on manual part programming okay now it is the generation of g and m codes what the software itself will do for you okay now as you see here this outside or inside can be controlled here as you know here this see here this outside or inside this profiling click on this start end this if you say inside and say okay and if you take the top view top view is here it has come to the inside now the simulation is done on the inside the path will be inside this is diameter 4 and, and that is why if it is coming here or here, here it will be 2. With reference to that, it will be 2. When it comes here, it will be 98. Even if it comes here, it will be, y will be 98. When it comes here, y will be plus 2. In that way, you should know how exactly this has been done. Okay. Now, these are all the things what you should know clearly. Okay. And you see here, after that, we will file, we will save this file, save as. Okay. We will save as one uh, file okay let us say i've saved it as let us say i'll save it as problem one session one milling ppf okay i'll save it as that okay file save as you give your name once you give your name you you next you go for generate code generate code just say okay Generate code, okay. Then all programmers name, all you take, uh, uh, enter the program ID number, you just say okay. Uh, program description, you say okay. In that way, if you do all that, you are the uh, code is generated. As you see here, this is the thing. You don't have to write the program for this. Maybe it is simple, which you could have written manual part programming itself. But the code has been generated. This can be extended for any complex problem. The code will be generated. You just have to uh, copy the G and M codes. See here. This is so many lines it has written. See here some uh, 73 lines it has written. You copy the 73 lines and uh, copy it to the CNC machine. Automatically you get the profile. You see here, just for your understanding purposes, see here, it has cut Z minus 2, then Z minus 4. Okay. And the movement I have shown you already, Z minus 4. This is Z minus 6. This is Z minus 8 and Z minus 10 and all that. After that, Z will be, that is tool will be moved up by 5 mm. These things you can see here. Z will be 5. That means what you see here is clearly the G and M codes being written by the software. We have not written the software. Okay. This you should clearly know for any complex problem, for any complexity. If you go by my procedure, automatically G and M codes are generated. This you copy it and paste it in CNC machine. Okay. And you do some minor changes. And finally, execute so that the complex profile or complex objects can be easily created using this EdgeCam software. Okay. Now, we have come to the end of session 2. Session 2 on problem 1. That is the problem 1. That is the profiling. We will continue this in the next exercises. Okay. Thanks, friends. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.